The second step to run a disaster recovery exercise is to perform an automatic failover test. This includes the following actions. First, stop the private ARC server service on the primary vault to trigger an automatic failover process on the DR vault. Next, confirm the DR service has successfully completed the failover process. Lastly, make sure that end users can still sign into the PVWA and securely connect to target systems using PSM without any human intervention. It is recommended to confirm component connectivity to the primary vault before you begin the automatic failover test. To do this, sign into the PVWA as an admin and navigate to the system health page. Confirm component connectivity and note the status of each vault. You can now begin the automatic failover test. Sign in to the primary vault server as the Windows local administrator. Open the Server Central Administration app. Click the red traffic light on the menu bar to stop the private ARC server service. Click OK to begin a normal shutdown of the private ARC server. Click Yes. Wait for the private ARC server to stop. When the traffic light on the menu bar turns green, the private ARC server service has stopped. Once the private ARC server service on the primary vault has stopped, switch to the console of the DR vault server. Monitor the PADR.log file to see log updates in real time. After about a minute, you should see messages stating that the disaster recovery service is unable to reach the primary vault. After five failed attempts to reach the primary vault, the DR service begins the failover process. At the end of the process, the private ARC server service is started and the disaster recovery service is stopped. Open the Windows Services applet. Click the Refresh button and confirm the CyberArk Vault Disaster Recovery Service has stopped. Scroll down and confirm the Private Arc Server Service is now running on the DR Vault server. In the last part of the test, confirm that end users can still access critical systems via CyberArk, even though the primary vault is offline, without human intervention. Open Chrome and verify you can still log in to the PVWA as an admin. Now, verify you can launch a secure session to one or more target systems using the PSM. Close the secure session. Lastly, navigate to the system health page. Note the change in vault status and component connectivity. Confirm that the PVWA and PSM servers have all failed over to the new primary vault automatically. As the CPM failover is a manual procedure, it is expected to appear as disconnected. We will not test manual failover of the CPM in this exercise. The automatic failover test has been completed. For more information, check out our online resources.